I saw what you did out there. Harold let me down in my hour of need, but you came through as I always knew you would. It was him, wasn't it? Brother Eli in the flesh. Let's hope he stays down for good this time. The children of the Spark have been conducting nanite experiments that may eclipse even my own findings. I surmise we just witnessed the result, and that's not even the worst. Athena has been consumed by the nanite swarm. With everything I've learned, we might be able to pull her out, but we're running out of time. I hate to say this, but I need you out there one more time. I'd love to explain in detail, but I don't think you'd quite understand. We need a lot of energy to revert the process. Trust me on this. I know the science behind this whole deal better than I know my own sock drawer. You just worry about the legwork. I'll take care of the rest. I'll need massive amounts of energy to get this right. The only thing powerful enough to make it happen is the goddamn spark itself. Our friend Eli had a lot of followers, you know? You'll find those wretched zealots worshiping the spark in Port Nixon's old power plant. Once there, you'll have to go up their magnetic zip lines if you want to get inside the cathedral. Here, take this gadget. You'll find it invaluable. I used to do business with them back in the day. Matriarch Celeste can be a very convincing woman. In the end, though, our views on nanites differed more than I thought. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Those zealots call it Cathedral of the Spark, but you won't find it if you look for a church. It shouldn't be hard to miss if you keep your eyes open for a pair of eerie-looking cooling towers down in the harbor district. Yes, I did. But now's not the time to talk. Our mission comes first. I hope you understand. I believe... No, I know I can help you. There's only one more thing I need to ascertain. Everything will be revealed in time, my friend. Ha! <laughs> Tell me about it. Strange name for an innovative contraption. It was supposed to solve all our energy problems at once. In the end, it proved too unstable. Creo was very happy to wash its hands of that damn piece of junk. Of course, that made it all the more alluring to those fanatics. Goodbye for now. Hang in there, Athena. I'm with you all the way. 